try to muscle our way through this and hopefully uh, I don't die, but I guess we'll see. At the beginning of the video here, I'm just talking about how we had to build this wall in here, so I feel a little confused because I kind of just randomly started talking about it. And also, this video was filmed over the course of like five days, so if it sounds like I'm contradicting myself throughout it, just bear with me. So, how we're doing the bottom of the, the wall here. So, to seal off the bottom and make sure like our wood is getting all wet from water that's going from all over here. We're gonna, we put underneath the board, our two by six, we put this to seal it nice. And we also have like a little piece of, or not like this, but like a solid piece of plastic and then we got the board on top. So we got a lot of tools out here because we tried a few different things. We tried using screws like this, but it didn't quite fasten it down the way we wanted to. So then we grabbed some of the anchors like this and we're going to use a few of these too. In between building the wall up in the new barn, Trent and I are fixing this plastic over here. Because it breaks just because of the wind and elements of Wisconsin. We got all the old plastic off, and now we're just sliding this new piece on. And uh, just Trent's figuring out this plastic, you know. We're gonna have to cut the end. All right, we got all the screws in, and now we're just cutting the bottom because there's a little extra on the plastic, and then we'll be done for tonight. So while I was at school, my dad and our one neighbor that's a carpenter finished up our wall, this wall over here, and then they also put the wall in over there, and then above the robot over there, and then this robot here, he built the underhang, overhang for us. And then we'll put tin all across here, and then put tin on this. And then, so that's what basically what we're gonna do today. And then eventually we might put some lights like right under there in between the blue and the bottom of the board. So we'll see how that goes for us eventually. So we got our first piece of tent up there on the overhang. And I got our second piece here. So what we're having to do is actually cut them because they're, they're a little bit too long and they hang out the top. So we cut them down a little bit. So we're gonna put one like right here and then we'll probably we'll need another one for right there. And then we'll have a little bit left over but eventually this overhang is gonna get extended like this way. And then. For, we can't put tin on over here yet until we get plywood in there, kind of like this side. Plywood's there, but we just haven't screwed it on. We're going to have insulation in between, it'd be in between the boards, in between that white stuff, and then where the plywood would be. So this is about all we're going to do, but we're, eventually this overhang is going to get extended all the way out to over here somewhere. I don't know the exact point yet, but that's where it's going to end up eventually. And I are back up here by the new barn. Uh, we're going to, a couple days later now, since the, uh, we did this and that over there, but what we're going to do today is we're going to work on framing the rest of this out right here and then putting, putting the tin that goes from there to there and put all that in here. One sliver the size of Texas later. We got the tin here done, and then the same on the other side. All we really have left now is just to work this last little bit here. Um, just so to fill in what we're doing here is we're just gonna end up putting some stainless steel in between this here. So we're up here one last time to finish the outside wall for this box and this box. So as you can see here, we got this black plastic up here. So the reason we put this up here is instead of having that tin come down all the way down to here and every time a cow walks through here 
it would rub, rub the tin a lot and so it would be all messed up. We put this up instead. So behind this, there's the insulation in between the boards, kind of like it is up there, and then plywood, and then we screwed this on here. So basically all we gotta finish up is bring the tin like this, bring it all the way over here. I'm currently getting mugged by a jersey. So this could end very poorly. We got, we got this little mark to cut right here, the light's killing me. But uh, we gotta cut this little bit so that way we can finish off what we need to do. We got a chipped grinder blade, and neither dad or I really wanted to run down the shop just to grab a grinder blade just for this little bit. So we're gonna try to muscle our way through this, and hopefully uh, I don't die, but I guess we'll see. So we got three quarters of the way there, and then it just completely broke. So now we gotta go figure out what we wanna do with the rest of this. All the tin that we're using for this project is the tin that was already up on these rooms that we took off in a previous video before we uh, started putting the new robots in. So with the way the over, uh, overhang is, uh, we used up more tin because of more surface area to cover. So we ran out of tin, so we don't need to go buy some more for that side. But this is basically what it's going to look like as a finished product on this side. So that's going to be all for this video. So. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.